it's a, just a good incrementality test. Like there's not a really great substitute for that. Looking at match market is usually the best, like just doing a match market test with you know each of your core channels and seeing how you do in terms of overall sales when you're running on Facebook or you're not running, you know, when you're sending a mail piece or you're not, that's kind of the, the best and most fundamental place to start. And then I, I do think there's just like general principles that you can take in your media buying that help you be more incremental, um, like doing less retargeting, trying to maximize as much of your digital spend on, on new customers as you can. And then like, I think having a good mix of traditional and digital is good. And then like you're saying, tr trying to limit your digital channels in some cases, like really what's working the best and feel confident in, because I think over attribution is going to be more concerning when you have more platforms, because they can all end up taking credit for the same, the same order. If you're hitting someone with a retarding ad on Facebook on display, and then they're doing a brand search and coming in through Google, it's like now you have three conversions that maybe none of them are the reason that the person was converting. Limit your channels to the ones that you, you can really feel confident are incremental. Something you mentioned there, the, the match market test. Can you explain what that is and maybe give us an example of, of how that works or how to do that? Basically, uh, if you have a media mix, selecting a couple markets that are similar in terms of, you know, population and demographics and purchasing behavior for your brand. Um, and then saying in one market, I'm going to take, you know, approach A. So it might be pausing your Facebook spend. And in another market, you take approach B, you know, you keep your Facebook spend on. And then, you know, you, you do that for a period of four to six weeks. And then you basically compare the four to six week period to the, to the four to six week period four in both bits and say, what was that delta in for approach A versus approach? And then, you know, that delta is, is your true incremental revenue from and that's, you know, you put that over and then that's your, that's your true row as, and, you know, often it's different than what the, the platform reports imagine. As, as one would imagine.